good morning all today we are going to start with 1.2 that is on saying please one of the beautiful essays written by ag gardner now what is there in on saying please on saying please is really worth reading to bring a change in our social behavior here one can enjoy the writer's meticulous selection of vocabulary and complex structures that he has used it sets a challenge in front of the readers to find contextual references of the words and the phrases while reading this essay i must tell you okay what is there in the title now the title on saying please gives us a hint that the topic is related to manners our daily mannerism we should know the importance of saying please to others needless to say that whenever we meet a stranger whenever we meet uh, our near and dear ones we have been using it unconsciously good manners make uh, make us socially accepted person you must agree it makes healthy relationship between individuals as well so what are the new words we will be learning here the new words would be assault and battery now what is it an attack which includes not only threats but also the actual use of violence Bur burglar is known to you retaliate would be somewhat a new word to you it means to do something bad to someone who has done the same thing with you assailant that means an attacker legislate that means to make law and laws would be understood by you ha huh, the two two box is a new word to your vocabulary now it would be to uh, to box that means to fight with the fist half t is also another a new word we would be learning today it's like high opinion about oneself feeling pr uh, having that pride about oneself boorish that means rude lacration that means hurt feeling slur means a cause of blame and redress that means remedy or set right vanity again is a good word for the pride synonym as a pride brooding over that means uh, spending time wor being worried anxious or being sad about something equilibrium that means to have balance balance of the mind or emotions bully is also again a new word uh, which you would have or heard it it means threatened insolent that means very rude now hen pecked would be new addition to your vocabulary today a husband who always does what his wife tells him to do quite funny right black eye is also again known to you no need to mention about that martyrdom is about the death and the suffering of a martyr moros would be again addition to your vocabulary today means unhappy decalog again a new word which we should learn that is uh, 10 commandments related to the christianity verdict is synonym for judgment resentment again a good synonym for anger uh, squared that means having doubt or settled countenance is a, again a good word to add on to your dictionary that is a person's face or expression uh, solicit solicitous that means caring or concerned giving helpful care uncouth that means impolite or unrefined benediction is again a good word to add that is a blessing a moral affront insult or disrespect you can call or boor is again the new word uh, which can be added to your dictionary today means a rude insensitive person or impulsive person now let us see what is there in icebreakers list the words of courtesy that we use in our daily life explain the purpose of using each so the first word that is given to us that is thank you right we use it to express our gratitude towards someone excuse me is used by us to take permission to go ahead or if we ask something pardon me is again uh, used by us quite sometimes to ask uh, to repeat the words me i is always asked to ask for the permission to take permission yes and no all these are cliche word that we have been using but uh, it shows manners you are welcome again to accept the expression of the gratitude mention not is again used by us unconsciously in order to reply to thank you or you need not say thank you right here you need to say only mention not i am sorry 
to tell someone that you are ashamed of hurting them or someone or to say it, disagree you disagree to something or to oppose others view politely my pleasure is used by us to tell that you are happy to help or to do the favor now second question is asked about listed below are a few character traits of people traits that means qualities of people some are positive traits some are some are not at all positive traits now write the ones you feel are desirable and not desirable that means these are the qualities that you want to see into a person into yourself as well so what what are the qualities now let us see conniving conniving is not at all desirable insensitive again not desirable sly that means again you you don't want to see this kind of trait among others humorous is good quality that you want to see into yourself into others as well so it is desirable naive that means new to or untrained and uh, uncouth you can call it it is not desirable quality benevolent showing benevolence is a desirable characteristic or trait aggressive again is not desirable scheming or plotting against someone again is not desirable uh, characteristic trait that you want to see into others wise again a good quality that you want to see into yourself or uh, with others too next is boastful that means uh talking about oneself and one's deed how he or she has achieved a lot he is again not desirable humble that means again this is good quality that you want to see into others desirable servile is not at all desirable territorial again not desirable patronizing is one of the traits that you don't want to see into others and in your uh, as your personality trait as well generous is a good quality that you want to see into others so it is desirable let us read the third question etiquette and manners are very important for a person to live in the society read the following and write if it is appropriate or inappropriate first to receive phone calls while you are in a lecture or class obviously it is inappropriate manner number 2 to knock before you enter and enter your principal's office obviously appropriate manner third one is to thank the person who offers you tea or coffee again it is appropriate behavior on your part to be polite and courteous to others that means again it is appropriate behavior to leave the classroom without teacher's consent or permission he is an appropriate manner number 6 is about to occupy the seats reserved for ladies and physically challenged or elderly people on a bus or a train again it is inappropriate rather on the contrary you should offer this seat to these kind of people who are in need of it like ladies or physically challenged or elderly people that's all about this icebreaker let us learn about the writer right now now he was an english journalist editor and author his essay is written under the alias that is alpha the plot uh, are highly regarded he started his literary career as a journalist at the age of 37 he was a pro- appointed editor of the daily news he made regular contributions to the daily news the manchester evening news etc his essays are uniformly elegant peace graceful and humorous the pillars of the society pebbles on the shore many furrows and leaves in the wind are some of his best known writings his uniqueness lies in his ability to teach the basic truths of life in an easy and amusing manner he raises the question of morality in everyday life in this on saying please 